Hello, brothers and sisters. It's me, Jamisha. Um, I swear, every time I come out of the hospital, I have a store. Or, not a store, but I have my face work out. Looks like I got something here. My mouth got cut here. And something right here. What is going on? Anyway, I'm going to turn this TV down. Because it's too loud for me. Anyway, so, um, I will be going home today. I'm just waiting on my discharge papers to be filled out. And then I am O U T T A H E R E out of here. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never been this excited to um go. I've never been so excited. But I am, I am, and I am ready. Y'all, I finished my green bean chips. Now I just have um my okra chips to uh, eat. I really enjoyed that those uh, green bean chips. They were better than the last batch that I had. Um. They were really good. Now, I'm about to sip on some good old cranberry juice. Good old cranberry juice. Can't forget my oak chips. That's my favorite. I love hospital cranberry juice. Um, I mean, I drink it at home too, but mostly. I drink it in the hospital. Jesus. I don't know why she put this big old gauze over it. And I told her I do not bleed. And I don't. She got all this tape stuff going on. Really? It's like some tape and gauze, girl. Tape and gauze. But, I don't know. These nurses text, what have you, don't never listen to you. They don't never, ever, ever listen to you. So, I'm excited to be going back home and get some real food. Excuse me. Yeah, I was thirsty. Like, super thirsty. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I, um, um, I got my paperwork. I'm just ready, wait, waiting for her to go over it. My port has been the access. Um, everything is all packed up. That just shows how excited I am to get out of here. So, I am um, going to see this time how long would I last. Or if I can last longer than two months. Which I probably can. Um, but this is the longest I have been out of the hospital. In like five years. So, yeah. Hold on. Gotta pour my cranberry juice. I gotta pour my cranberry juice. Oh, I gotta pour my cranberry juice. Oh, I gotta pour my cranberry juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta pour my cranberry juice. Gotta pour my cranberry juice. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. I did receive blood two days ago, so, um, hold on, I did receive blood two days ago, so that's another thing, another plus, I should be good for a while with that, 
and I haven't had blood in two or three years, but um, I got blood the other day, and it's crazy because the the um, medicine that they give us, like the hydrated, I don't know how many how many of y'all are on it, but um, it's supposed to help our crisis increase or not so much, not having so much, but it also brings your hemoglobin down. So, and that's like with any medicine, like if you take it for one thing, it's going to destroy something else, which I hate it. So, taking the hydrate is what made my blood go, my hemoglobin go down. And, um, I just don't like that. I don't. Yeah, it's always a good, good side and a bad side to the to the medications and then like if I'm taking um Finnegan or Benadryl um it will I can it will make me stop itching and stop being nausea but they both make my um um eyes blurry so I can't read really good and then, um, like with Benadryl alone, it ma it makes me really, 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 really hot. And I don't know if it does this to other e warriors, but like when you, if you ever had have had a cat scan and they give you the dye, it makes you feel like you have to get about to pee on yourself and really hot. That's how the Benadryl does me. Like it don't make me feel like I have to pee. Peace, but it makes my feet, the bottom of my feet, really, really, really hot for a couple of seconds. So, yeah. But I'm ready to get home, you guys. Um. I hate coming to your edge of it. I think that's just so rude. Anyways, um, I'm really excited about going home today. I am. Because I get tired of being in this room. I mean, I can go out and walk, but it's not like, sorry for that, y'all. It's not like, um, I don't know where I'm going. So I'll get lost because I'm usually not on the floor. So yeah, this floor that I'm on now is mainly for like elderly people, and it's so funny because the lady that's across the hall from me, she her bed is unlocked, and every time she steps out the bed, the bed alarm goes off, and they always say, "Get back in the bed, get back in the bed." Like y'all, she did that all day yesterday and all night last night. Like, it's a lot of them like that on this floor, on this side of the floor. But, yeah. I, it just took me out because <laughs> she knows she's not supposed to get out of the bed. She knows the bed alarm is on and it's going to go off. I don't understand why she just won't push the call button and, you know, ask for help. And it says, call, don't fall. But, who am I? I'm just Jamisha. I'm not judging her. I'm not trying to talk about her. I'm just saying, I thought that was just uh, hilarious to me. Not at, I'm not laughing at her. I'm laughing at what she's doing. What she's doing. So, yeah. But anyways, I, um, we'll be seeing you guys later. I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, and you can, um, I'll, you can also share my videos because I'm comfortable with that. Um, also, don't forget to keep me, keep me in your prayers because you guys are continue, continuously in my prayers. Just because I'm at the hospital does not mean I'm pain free or I don't need prayer. I need prayer every day. Everybody does. But anyway, I will see y'all later, okay? I love you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.